In this video, I want to go over how to install as well as use Autodefine, which is an add-on to Anki that lets you automatically define vocabulary words as well as optionally add pronunciations and images. This tutorial will assume that you have some um, experience with Anki and its add-on system, um, but hopefully this won't be too hard to follow. So let's say that you have an existing Anki installation and wish to add Autodefine to it. Um, you will go to the um, Anki web page for Autodefine, which I will post a link to in the description of this video, and go ahead and copy the, uh, the, the code for Autodefine. Then you'll go back into Anki, go to Tools, Add-ons, Get Add-ons, and then within the code field, you'll just paste uh, that code. Um, after it downloads Autodefine, you'll need to restart Anki for that change to be applied. Cool, so now we have an auto-define uh, installation, and let's say we are interested in defining basketball. Um, so you'll type in your word, and then this is the um, auto-define uh, button that will allow you to automatically get the definition. Oh, auto-define tells us that we need to register for an API key before we go ahead and basically use the program. If you click OK, this will bring up the uh, website where you can register for such an API key. Um, so what you need to do is you need to click register here on the left side um, and fill out the information that's relevant to you and click register at the end. Um, that will give you login information in order to be able to log into this website. Um, since I've already uh, gone th through the registration previously, I won't be going through it again and I'll just sign in directly. Um, so once you do sign in, on the left hand side here you'll have a few links and the one that we're most interested in is the My Keys link. So you'll click on this link and then you'll be taken to this My Keys page. Um, and the key that you care about is this key for the dictionary. Um, so what you want to do is you'll just go ahead and right click and copy that, um, that key. And then go back into Anki and go to Tools, Add-ons, um, click on Auto-Define, um, go to Config, and then there should be a location that says your key here. Uh, which is where you'll want to replace the, uh, the your key here with the actual API key. So you'll paste that in, click OK. Uh, we'll go ahead and restart Anki one more, one more time so that the change is reflected. Um, and now, if we want to add a, uh, a, a term like basketball, we'll just type that in, um, click the auto-define button, and you can see that auto-define adds um, both a pronunciation as well as um, a definition. Um, and so if we add that to our actual collection, uh, browse and preview uh, that card. Basketball. You can hear um, the pronunciation and on the back you can see the definition. Um, so that's great. Um, if you do want to customize um, Autodefine a little more, there are a few other options. Um, again, you can go back into the add-ons and click configuration. Um, as you can see here, there are a few extra options other than the required API key. Um, so there's two that refer to the fields where the definition and pronunciation will be inserted. Um, and so as you can tell here, um, the fields uh, start at zero and, and increase like one, two, three, etc. Um, and so our default basically settings show that uh, normally the pronunciation will be added to the zeroth field um, right after the term that, that you're basically trying to define. Um, and the definition is added to the first field. If you want to change this, um, obviously you can add any number, and if you're not interested in, let's say, the definition at all, you can say negative one, um, and it will not add the definition anywhere. Um, so let's see if we want to change this uh, to one, so that in this case, the definition won't be given to us, and the pronunciation will be given to the first field instead of the zeroth field. Um, and then there's also this option to open images in the browser, um, which allows us to add images more easily. So let's, let's say we want to do uh, true for this one. So if we make these changes, um, we'll need to restart Anki one more time. Um, and now, uh, what we're expecting to do when we click add and basketball uh, is we'll get the pronunciation into the second field, or I guess the first field, whichever way you want to look at it. Uh, and then it, it should open up a browser for us in order to, to, uh, for us to more easily add a, a uh, image. So when we click auto-define, uh, you can see that it has opened up uh, a, a new new tab with the Google image search for basketball. So let's say we really like this one. We want to copy this image. Uh, if you go back, it has added the pronunciation to the back as we told it to. 
And then we can just go ahead and add that, um, add that basketball and add it. So that was Autodefine in a nutshell. Um, if you have any uh, questions about how to use Autodefine, um, you can go on to the Tender app, uh, Anki's support site, uh, which I'll be pasting a link for uh, in the description as well. Uh, and then if you find any bugs or would like to contribute to the development of Autodefine, um, Autodefine is open source uh, hosted on GitHub. Um, and so please go ahead and visit this. Um, if you do find a bug, uh, you can open an issue um, and hopefully we'll be able to resolve that. Um, thanks for watching.